All right, guys, in this video, I wanted to discuss the future arenas of the NBA. What's planned? What do I think is coming in the next few years? And we actually do have an NBA stadium that's planned for 2031. What are the chances that project actually happens? Relocation? Do we get an expansion? I'm going to go through all of it. First, I'm going to talk about the only confirmed stadium right now that's happening the only new arena, it's being built currently, the Intuit Dome, the LA Clippers new home that I saw some recent photos on the construction. It looks really, really nice. It's coming along really well. Now just some backstory on the construction. A groundbreaking ceremony was held on September 17th, 2021. So this uh, construction's been go ongoing here for well over a year now. And Steve Ballmer, the Clippers owner, described a goal for the new arena to be a basketball palooza and you look at some of the renderings of it the different kind of a community thing this is like the new thing that a lot of arenas stadiums you know whatever north american sports venues that are being built they want it to be like a community multi-level there's extra basketball courts i don't know what they would use those for uh, maybe they're open for the general public. I don't know. But you can see in the different renderings, uh, the Intuit Dome. And then it says a 23-year naming rights deal was announced with Intuit. So that will be the name of the dome for at least the next 2020 or the next 23 years starting in 2024. One of the big features of the stadium was something that they dub the Wall. And it kind of reminds me of what Maryland has with their basketball arena, their college basketball arena. It's just like a wall of fans on one of the ends of the stadium. And when the opposing team shoots free throws, it's a very steep angled wall. That's kind of a cool, unique thing that can really bring the fans into the game. I like the design of it. I think it's unique enough to be good. And, and that's kind of all you're looking at with these NBA arenas and really assessing them. It's hard to really actually grade what's a good arena because they all look so similar as opposed to NFL stadiums and especially MLB. MLB, they're all unique. So we will see what ends up happening. It is an 18,000 seat arena, which is pretty average right now. Maybe a little bit on the lower end for NBA t teams when it comes to the total capacity, but very, very standard overall. It says there will be a large outdoor plaza with basketball courts that will be open to the public. So kind of going into there, they're also having a sports medicine clinic with team offices and retail space as well. They're building all that up around the arena. So that will be coming and that will be opening in the fall of 2024. So the LA Clippers will still be at Staples Center or Crypto.com Arena, whatever you want to call it. To end this year, they will be there next year, and then the year after that, in the fall of 2024, they will be at the Intuit Dome. That is the only official confirmed NBA arena that is going up, and I, I do have to say, looking at some of the renderings, they're showing Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. I mean, is Kawhi Leonard you know, going to be able to walk by that point? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. But So that is the only confirmed arena, but I do have some theories. We're seeing renderings of other potential NBA arenas that could be popping up in 2026, 2027. There's a lot of old arenas and there's a lot of rumors. So let's get to the possible relocation or expansion. I think it's going to be expansion. I don't see an NBA team relocating. 2025 or 2026, sometime in that window, I think you're going to see expansion in the NBA really heat up. And the two spots, Seattle possibly getting an NBA team. They just got an NHL team, the Seattle Kraken. And they made an arena that can very easily be transformed from hockey to basketball and vice versa. There's already renderings of it. I think it's something like a you know climate change or climate packed arena. It's like it's named after Greta Thunberg, but that's what it is. 
And, you know, you look at it, it's new, it's state-of-the-art. We see a lot of these teams to save money. They don't want to build an NHL and an NBA stadium, so it's a two-in-one deal. Happens a lot, and it's very easy to do because the courts are roughly the same size as the ice rink. So... That's something I I definitely think Seattle will be one of the first teams on the list. You look at the Seattle Mariners, the baseball team, and their amazing attendance improvement the past few years as they've gotten better, and they recently made the playoffs for the first time in over two decades. That is a city that they're pretty good when it comes to attendance. Now, sure, some years maybe it's not great, but I think you can rejuvenize the basketball life in Seattle with that new arena that's already been built, it's already ready, it's like a perfect fit in a glove. That's why I see if the NBA does expand, which in in terms of relocation versus expansion, I see expansion 100%. I do not see a team relocating. Maybe, maybe the Orlando Magic, but I haven't even done any research on if they would be a team that would relocate. But I see expansion happening, and I see Seattle getting the Supersonics back. There And then the other team, you know, obviously the NBA, they would do two teams, in my opinion, in terms of expansion. The other team would be Las Vegas, and I'm not sure what their nickname would be. I know there's a rendering for the Las Vegas Venom, and we've heard LeBron James possibly wants to be part of this ownership group. I don't think he currently has enough, yeah, no, there's no way he has enough money to outright buy a team right now. He would have to be the main owner of and go in with a group to where he owns the most equity. That's what I think probably LeBron would do, and he's talked about possibly buying Vegas. We know Michael Jordan has the Hornets, and there is a rendering on a potential project that's called All Net. Personally, this project reeks of a failure, They've been doing nothing the past two years at their construction site. They're trying to raise the funds. It's a $5 billion massive community with hotels, casinos that they want to build around this sports stadium that, yes, it will apparently, if it gets built, have a retractable roof. The basketball court will have a retractable roof, which I don't think I don't know how that's going to work with the sun glare. If an NBA team does move there, you know, who knows. But right now, that to me, until they actually officially announce the funding, it seems like that project is just going nowhere. They've been really talking about it since 2019, and it's just going to cost so much. But this is Vegas, and I do expect Vegas to get an expansion team. They're about to get the athletics. There's talks it's coming soon. And you guys can just see the overall renderings for a potential all net is what they're calling it type complex with the potential NBA stadium being the crown jewel in the center that is a retractable roof. So those would be the two expansion teams and I would put an an estimated time on that maybe 2026 or 2027. The NBA and the owners do not want to expand. They have like a labor rights uh, negotiation they have to go through and they they want to wait and let all the team evaluations go up so then when the expansion happens, it costs even more for the new owners to purchase the teams, which will give all the rest of the owners more money. So uh, that's the best way I can explain that. And then getting to a rumor that you know I'm sure a lot of people don't know about, the Oklahoma City Thunder. So a really, a, a really unique story on them. We know Seattle moves to Oklahoma City. They get that arena. I think it's best known as Chesapeake Arena. It's not called that anymore. It's some the the way they name these things, the naming rights. It's called like Paycom or something. I mean, the next thing you know, we're gonna get an OnlyFans arena. It's just like remember with the Miami Heat. Honestly, if I was the Miami Heat team owner, I would be so pissed off about that whole situation with with the naming rights on their arena going. You know. to the crypto company with Sam Bankman fried It just comes off as so unprofessional if you're Miami. I I would not do any agreement with a crypto exchange for naming rights for the next 20 years. I don't know. I just think that's ridiculous. But uh, going back to the point, Oklahoma City, when they got the Thunder back and they went into Chesapeake, that arena was not at all. I mean, technically it was built to host basketball But they built that arena in like 2001. I think it broke ground in 99. 
and it was a bare bones type thing to really just attract like concerts to Oklahoma City. There was no big, you know, crazy suites or anything. So it is severely lacking. And there's been dialogue over the past few years about Oklahoma City getting a new stadium possibly in 2025, 2026, something like that, if they can raise the money for it. So Oklahoma City is definitely a team to watch. And then the other project, which is pretty crazy that it's planned this far out, it is the 76er place, the potential Philadelphia 76ers new stadium located in uh, Market East, which is a place that you know, a lot of people are concerned about the, lo the location of this potential new stadium. There's actually a change.org thing. It says, stop the 76er place at Market East. Do not let it happen. And it's apparently due to their Chinatown possibly being destroyed by this new stadium. But this is something that's not planned until 2031. Current, their current stadium, Wells Fargo, or you know what? The name has probably changed to something else. It's probably called like barney.com stadium um that it is horrible when you you look at some of these arenas around the nba and they're just so dated another arena that's terrible the wizards arena whatever it's called horrible so there are multiple ones and then the other thing if you're wondering who's next in line to get new stadiums or new arenas just look at the uh look at like the oldest arenas in the NBA. So like the Target Center in Minneapolis, they're already starting dialogue to either have a major renovation. I mean, that place opened in 1990. You're talking about 32 years. That's a really good life for an arena. And you would think there would be dialogue. The Utah Jazz opening in 1991. Arizona, it's called the Footprint Center now. I mean, goodness. Uh, they opened in 92. The United Center, the Chicago home of the Chicago Bulls in 94. I know Chicago is right now is trying to get a new NFL stadium and, and they're really working on that. But I wonder if, if once that get what once that project gets going, they would focus on upgrading the United Center in some form. But we will end. So it is still called the Wells Fargo Center. It opened in 96. Yeah, I could see in 2031, definitely, you would think they need to probably build it earlier than that. But those are really the only main ones that are possibly happening. I, I would say, if I had to give a prediction, we're getting the LA Clippers new arena in 2024. And then possibly two expansion teams, new arenas in 2026 or 2027. You've also got maybe Minnesota getting a new arena in 2027 because the Target Center is so old. And Oklahoma City, the dialogue has started on that, getting them a new arena possibly 2027, 2028. And then we have this far and away project that's planned right now by Philadelphia in 2031. And you really can't even take that seriously. That's just too far away. But we will see if we get an update on that anytime soon. But those currently are the future NBA arenas that are planned. Guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.